Yeah. Come on, baby, you can do it. Haul my fat ass up this hill. Get, try not to die. Big fucking rock. Oh, baby. Go right side. Woo. What have I done here? So against my better judgment, I've allowed Maggie to talk me into the full off-road route, which I've heard is either A, incredibly difficult, or B, um, super easy. So, you know, with clear direction like that, of course I want to go out and risk it all. I'm um, going out on the KLX though, finally getting some seat time on a KLX 300, a bike I have recommended many times, but never actually ridden off-road. So it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Whoop whoop. Oh my God, it feels like a scooter. I've got my feet flat on the ground, like flat on the ground. And I think we're going out with the legendary, and I'm not exaggerating, Simon Cudby. Probably the most prolific off-road motorsports photographer there is. Simon does a lot of the photographs that we use for giant loop stuff, so it's cool to finally meet him in person because I've been posting his stuff and putting it on product cards and sharing it on the blog, putting it in YouTube videos for a while. So I'm excited to vlog this smaller bike. Like I said, I have a rally at home, so I have a pretty good point of comparison. I think it's going to be fun to beat the shit out of it and ride it hard. Justin from Cycle World going on the RL. Hell yeah. We got some big bikes with us. Maggie's here on the bike I was riding before, so I went ahead and broke it in for you. Emphasis on broke. The Kawasaki rep that's here was kind enough to adjust the preload all the way up for me, so I've got a little extra, but I'm definitely too heavy for this bike in stock form. But that's okay. The point of my channel is to get out a regular dude who's not in the best shape and show you what you can do on a regular bike following around, you know, legendary photojournalists and editors of major motorcycling publications just like everyone does right seriously though huge thanks to alpine stars for this for the invite and i'm just so honestly humbled to be here because there are some ridiculously like prolific people here like maggie of course maggie the the like uh. the maggie hicks on instagram fun fact billy the leader of this ride is the mayor of the town of Fawnskin that we're in right now. There's Justin. So the mayor himself is guiding us on this ride. Pretty cool. Listen to that beast roar. Yeah. This is like just as good as the Turek. Well, I just didn't film a very fun section of me giggling like a schoolgirl throwing this thing around, but. <laughs> All right, a little stop for a photo. Set up, we're gonna go ride past the, the Simon Cudby. It's gonna take a picture of me. What world is this that I'm living in right now? Unbelievable. Damn. Wait, what? I minded a lot less on the little bike. gutless bike that you need a lot of momentum for. Come on, baby, you can do it! Haul my fat ass up this hill. Oh, these foot pegs are garbage, dude. I hate them. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not on the big bike, honestly. That's doable, but it wouldn't be fun. This is still mostly fun. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. There's like no good line. Also sitting down is the option that I chose. Wonderful. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> interesting how you approach things differently on a bike with less power because 450L, I just chugged up that. But definitely thinking about it more on this one. Huh? Damn. We 
we are in the desert, bro. Okay, a little pit stop at the old chimney. More two track. Apparently uh, kind of a rocky climb and a fun descent is coming up and then uh, a lookout. So, exciting. Oh, I should put my goggles on if I want to like see it. So, that really helps. I was told. I'm really glad that the uh, B camera caught that. So we're rocking D605s. Um, they're okay. They're not great for this loose stuff. But they're better than the stock tires on the Honda. So. Point for the Cowie. Apparently the front suspension is not adjustable on this. I could swear I read that it was. So I've always said that that's what made this better than the CRF. And shit, if it isn't, then that's a lie. So I don't know. Ooh, is this it? Is this the descent? It's fun. Oh, it's not too bad. No, this isn't it. This isn't it. It's steep though. Steep, steep though. God, is it spinning? Couldn't even get up that in second gear. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Where am I going? I don't know. Here, I guess. Get okay, turn out to die. <laughs> Wait, did he say go left? <laughs> Oops. <sighs> This is no joke. Here comes Mags. You got this, Maggie. You got this. You got this. You got this. You just gotta go. Look at the line I took on the left there. That was stupid. Yeah! Crossed it. Oh my god. You want me in front? On the fastest bike here? What am I doing? I'm picking shit lines today. That was like everyone else went to the left. He even told us to go to the left. And I was like, left or right? I didn't see the good line around the left. I just, uh, I just went down the shitty one. A couple of two foot drops. No big deal. I guess it's not that way because of the tree. Dude, I'm so proud of myself that I didn't just stop and walk that thing down. Cause like on a bike I don't know with shit suspension. Big legend, dude. It's just, you gotta let that tire roll. That's it, that's all you can do. And at least I know that now. Six rock, oh baby. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Almost oh, an eight. Saved it though. I'm getting better at that. That's something, right? Holy sh! Holy sh! Did I? Oh, I got a minute. I got something to tell you. Holy sh! Wow, bro, Tato. Oh my God! We're above that damn mine that I wanted to climb to the top of. Hell yes! So yesterday as I was driving in, 
I stopped down there in the Cern Valley for gas and there was this winding ass road up to the top of this mountain and I was like, oh my God, I want to ride that so bad. Well, here we are. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm glad you talked me into this. Yay! It remains to be seen if I'll stay glad, but okay. the moment I'm glad. <laughs> For now, I'm still. Yeah. Just kept going? Yeah, never stop. Never stop. We're at 7,500 feet. Uh, we're 5,000 feet below the valley below us. This thing is stupid fun. I don't even feel like standing up. It's more fun to just stick around on it. Stand up when I have to. So glad the sun has gone behind a cloud. That's actually a massive difference. Digging it, digging it, digging it, dig. Got some Rockies. Don't have to go through them. Didn't see this line on the way up. Oops. Simon taking pictures as we come through pretty cool. What's cool is we get all these pictures Pretty stoked about that. I'm gonna have dork in the thumbnail for the rest of my life This is a guy that, that shoots all of the product packaging photos for giant loop We use Simon's stuff basically exclusively so it's pretty cool that he's here So I don't know how much of my commentary is coming through with this because I don't have a mic in the helmet But I will say this is fun. KLX is fun, but you really start to feel the limitations on the stuff that's a little bit harder like this. And I know like, so this is probably like the upper limit of what you want to do on a bike like this. A good rider can do more, but it just becomes way less fun than it is on a bike that's a little bit more capable, better suspension, more power. So it's, I'm just working harder than I would be on my, on my easier, on my more powerful bike. And uh, it's just a thing that I'm noticing that you might be curious about. Oh yeah, okay. What the hell is this? Let's go to the right side. Woo! And then we'll go around this right here. Beautiful. getting fun. That's gorgeous up there though. Look at that. Act like you know what you're doing, bro. Act like you know what you're doing. This is steep, bro. Steep, bro. <sighs> Just keep rolling. You do not want to stop. Momentum is your friend. You gotta keep up a little bit of speed because it will carry you over anything that you hit, including the center of the track. If you have to cross over, keep your eyes up and forward, ahead of where you're going, so you can see the things and switch tracks if you need to. I was in neutral. <laughs> to avoid them. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this? Holy shit. What have I done here? Quite a rut, dude. Holy hell. 
well this is not terrible i'll take it look at this i got both sides of the valley pretty cool Seriously, we're at what, 7,000 feet? Um, the oxygen difference is noticeable. I mean, I'm like fat and out of shape, for sure. Like, that's a huge factor, but I'm not this fat and out of shape. Yeah, yeah. single track time. It's gonna make me work, huh? Let's see how it is. Holy f shit. How am I gonna get up this backside? I don't even know. This is something. That's steep as shit. Alright, first gear, baby. Pin it to win it. Ow! <laughs> okay, that's fun. Oh, good, a blue trail. I was worried that I might get to relax. Holy sh**. I'll be first up the back side. About the clutch, can we? Suspension of these big rocks do not get along. Of course, if you were standing, it would be less of an issue. You idiot. Rocky bullshit. Yeah, this is probably a lot for this bike. I, I mean, again, it's doing it. But it's like the upper limit of what you'd want to do on a bike like this. Because if you want to do this shit and you want to do it fast, you should be on a bigger, faster bike. Like, seriously. I mean, bottom line. Just some easy, flowy single tracks for the open desert, he says. <laughs> Alright, well that was a great ride. Thanks to Cowie for letting me borrow this thanks to billy for leading the ride and thanks to alpine stars for putting all this together <sighs> i'm ready for dinner so i don't want to use the word flogged i definitely put this klx to the test and probably got pretty close to the limit of what it can do considering how heavy i am riding it but i'm like simultaneously impressed that it took that punishment because you know i'm much heavier than the rider it's built for and like annoyed that uh it didn't have the power i wanted to climb hills and stuff but it's okay because it makes me appreciate my 450l and i think this is a great bike for someone who's just getting started moving even to intermediate because it'll go places you're eventually going to want something a little faster and a little more well suspended but it'll go places excellent